back to my youtube channel well uh, in our last video we have already set up a qa server also installed and set path for java and maven okay so um, this is the video available in my youtube channel only okay in today's session we will download the git because we have placed our uh, source code in github so we will download the git uh, in our qa server then we will generate the ssh key uh, like uh, to clone the uh, clone using ssh we should have ssh key uh, in our system so, and we uh, like configure that ssh key with our github that is uh, i have that that i have already done and uh, i have already prepared a video for that git clone using ssh so you can go through with that okay so once uh, it is done so we will uh, clone our source code from git to our qa server okay then we will download the apache tomcat 9 so tomcat is a server for uh, hosting java web, web applications it's a free and open source like for installing apache tomcat server you must have java 1.11 or higher version so we have already uh, installed java home java and uh, maven in our system then we will build our application so to build our application we need maven we are using maven build tool okay then once it is done our artifacts are created we will uh, uh, we will deploy our java uh, java application to an application server that is tomcat only then uh, we will change our firewall settings uh, in our ec2 instance because to access the uh, web application http port should be open okay we will do that we then we will access our application okay and we will also see if we face any issues so our application will look like this page okay let's get started let's access your application so using ssh only just copy this command and go back to your terminal just copy just paste it become a root user sudo hyphen i just go to opt because i have placed all the um, uh, directories and things over here okay uh, okay before that uh, just install git to, to install git uh, using yum command um, you yum install git hyphen y okay once it is done uh, clone the uh, source code okay just copy the uh, this url ssh url Once it is done, our source code is available here. Java web application directory is av available. If I go to this inside this, this inside Spring MVC, I will show you our source code files are available here. Okay. Once it is done, download the uh, the uh, Apache Tomcat. For that, go to your browser. Write down download Apache Tomcat. Okay. Just um, I'm using the Tomcat 9 copy the uh, tar.gz link copy link address go back here i'm downloading in op inside opt so uh, do wget and this one lsfn lrt see we can see it has downloaded untar it xzvf apache tomcat okay rename it to simple name that is i'm giving tomcat 9 okay so once it is done uh, go to your uh, source code that is java web apps then spring mvc so here let me show you we don't have any target folder here so we will uh, like uh, build our application using mvn command for that we will use mvn clean install See, clean will uh, clean cleans up the target folder which is not available here if it is available it cleans up the target folder install will download all the required dependencies also uh, prepare one artifact okay in our case uh, spring mvc dot war would be created okay just hit the, hit this button in which it will take some time
ओके सो सी बिल्ड इट लाइक बिल्ड हैज़ बिन डन सक्सेसफुली जस्ट नाउ टू एल एस हाइफ एन एल आर टी ये टारगेट फोल्डर इज क्रिएटेड इफ आई गो इन साइड दिस टारगेट फोल्डर एंड डू एल एस हाइफ एन एल आर टी हियर वी कैन सी दैट आर टी फेक्ट डॉट वॉर इज क्रिएटेड बिकॉज वी हैव वेब एप्लीकेशन ओके लेट मी ऑल्सो ऑल्सो शो यू दम टू रेपो एम टू लाइक एम टू डायरेक्टरी सो हियर इन साइड रेपोजिटरी All the required dependencies are available. Okay, if I go inside ORG, I'll go inside com slash. Once this artifact is created. we will deploy this artifact in tomcat so for that we will copy simply uh, this spring mvc dot war and we will paste it inside uh, inside our tomcat that is available opt tomcat 9 and web apps folder okay so uh, let's go here okay so just give it permission execute permission so i am giving it uh, ch mod hyphen r 755 spring mvc dot war now to ls hyphen lrt so we we have given it spring uh, the uh, 755 execute permission okay so once it is done just uh, go back to your bin folder here uh, one file is startup dot sh is available uh, to uh, like to start our tomcat just execute this command dot slash startup dot sh okay tomcat started if we do ps hyphen ef pipe grab tomcat just to check whether our tomcat is running or not so you can see our tomcat is running and running from opt tomcat then okay so uh, now check now go to your uh, browser uh, go to your ec2 instance copy the public ip from here go go to your browser and just try to hit the tomcat first the default port for tomcat is 8080 it is not accessible because we haven't opened the uh, the http port yet okay just go to your uh, ec2 instance go to instance go to security and security group here added the inbound rule okay add rule for now i am allowing the all traffic okay uh, any from anywhere just save the rule okay once it is done come back here and reload the page see apache tomcat is accessible now just add uh, the append the context over here context is spring mvc and then then index see our application is accessible so in that way we have deployed our uh, web application manually to um, an application server that is apache tomcat if you have any kind of doubt or if you face any issue just uh, drop me a message uh, in the comment section and uh, if you really helpful if you really found this video helpful please hit the like and subscribe my channel thank you